My name is Lauren Ekstrom, and I am so excited to share this practice with you from my brand new program, Yoga Detox 30. This program is 30 days, created and guided by myself and my husband, Travis Elliott. During this program, you get to experience eight hour-long thematic yoga classes, including power yoga, yin yoga, and gentle yoga. Plus, your entire program is accompanied by a special daily talk to help support you on your journey. We cover topics like trauma, the psychology of addiction, self-compassion, and so much more. In addition, you get a downloadable workbook filled with inquiries, journal prompts, and off-the-mat exercises to help take this work to an even deeper level. So if you're ready to give up negative habits and addictions that are no longer serving you in a positive way, I hope this class gives you the opportunity to get a taste of what this full experience might be like. Be sure to click subscribe below. And if you wanna check out the program, visit me over at innerdimensiontv.com. Have a powerful class and I'll see you at the end. Welcome to Potential. We'll start on the knees. And as you walk the knees back, keep the toes tucked under for today. Extend the arms forward and dip the chest down toward the floor, coming into one of the poses we call Anahata Asana, the center of the heart that also targets the upper back. Rest the forehead down toward the earth. And then bring the hands together in the gesture of prayer. And as you bend the elbows, point those prayer fingers up toward the ceiling. Close the eyes. And start to draw the breath into the space of the heart. The space of pure potential. Beyond the limitations of the mind. As you start to rest your attention on your possibilities for success. And success might simply be that you showed up on your mat today. Success might be you consciously choosing to care for yourself by doing your practice, at times taking a rest. And Eleanor Roosevelt maybe said it best. You must do the things you think you cannot do. And this is really the definition of our potential. And so to tap into that potential, we'll move out of the head and into the heart today. Take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, start to make little circles with the hips, and you might even make little circles at the space of the forehead. And as you circulate the hips, you start to open up the outer shoulders at the same time that you massage the forehead, the region of the body often associated with our intuition. If you've been going in one direction, you might circulate the opposite direction, and they don't need to be big. These are just little tiny movements that start to open up the tender places in the body, especially those muscles up and underneath the arms, in and around the shoulders. And these two areas, the hips and the shoulders, connecting us to our very center, to our heart and to our core. Come back through the middle, release the palms down toward the floor, keeping the elbows on the earth. Lift the forehead up so that you're in tabletop pose on the forearms. Cat cow here, inhale, pull the heart through the gateway of the chest and let's target the upper back. As you exhale, tuck the tail and then separate the shoulder blades, dome and round the space behind the heart. Inhale, imagine you could melt the shoulder blades down toward the front of the heart, pull the heart through, gaze forward and spread the chest. 
Exhale, press into the elbows, dome and round the upper back, protracting the shoulder blades wide. One more time here. It might be a littler movement than you're used to in traditional cat-cow. Exhale as you curl and drop the head, let it hang. On an inhale, come back to center. And then as you pause with the forearms still down on the earth, the palms pressing to the mat, the toes tucked under, lift the knees up and off the mat and press back into dolphin pose. So downward facing dog on your forearms. Now the back body, the posterior side of the body might still be a little bit tight. So put a little bit of a bend into your knees. Lift your sitting bones up toward the sky and press the floor away as you start to warm the shoulders. Then on an inhale, look forward between your forearms and see if you can, as evenly as possible, you might build this over these 30 days. Press both elbows up and off the mat, maybe at the same time, as even as you can, coming into your first downward facing dog of the day. Hide your heels behind your second and third toes. Let your ears descend between your upper arms. And then pretend for a moment that you could roll your armpits towards your heart as you spread your upper back and your chest. Pausing here, take an inhale, firm the thighs back. As you exhale, bend the knees and step your feet up to meet your hands folding at the top of the mat. On an inhale, hands to shin, so you lead with your heart. Feel your navel lift and your shoulders slip back. Then exhale, fold, get out of your head, drop back into your heart as you hang down and fold in. Put a little bend into both of your knees. Let your arms hang like a rag doll. Maybe with your eyes closed, slowly roll to stand your navel hugging back towards your spine and your head just the very last thing to come up at the end. At the top, roll your shoulders down your back and then drop your arms down by your sides, your palms facing forward. Pause here. And as you take a stand with your palms facing forward and out, your eyes closed, you might sense that it feels a little bit vulnerable to be exposed. And this is what it is to step into your highest vision for your life, your deepest possibility. Your possibility lies between where you are and where you could be. And so in this opening flow, we're going to give voice to your heart. And so each time as we draw the hands to the heart, we'll chant, and it can be quiet, the sound of Om. As you practice bringing the voice of your heart, the voice of your potential out of you and out into the world. So from this place, inhale, circle your arms to the sky, hands to the heart on the sound of Om. Through the nose, inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, fold forward, dive forward and out. Flat back, inhale, extend your heart. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to the top of a push-up. Take an inhale for this first round in plank. As you exhale, hover in chaturanga. Roll over the toes, inhale, coming to upward facing dog as the shoulders wrap back. Then as you exhale, roll back over the toes, come to chaturanga. Inhale, press back to plank, and exhale, shift back to downward facing dog. Take several breaths in downward facing dog, and just remember that you can modify. You can use the knees for support, you can skip vinyasas, but part of tapping into your potential is checking in with yourself. Sometimes in order to reach our greatest potential, we have to have a deeper level of discipline. We have to believe that we can do the things we think we cannot do. And so let's link it together, one breath at a time, one moment at a time. Take an inhale, lift your sitting bones up and back. Bend your knees as you exhale, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, lead with the heart. Exhale, fold and drop the head. Inhale, circle and rise to the sky. Om to the heart on the out breath.
Inhale, both arms reach above. Exhale, fold forward over strong legs. Inhale, glance out halfway. Exhale, step back to plank and lower on the same out breath. Inhale, upward facing dog, knees lift, drag the heart through. Back to chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale to plank, exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Allow the eyes to maybe close, knowing that your greatest potential is inside of you. It doesn't exist outside. That mind of comparison, it can sneak in and it can be insidious. And so you take your attention back to where it matters most and ultimately to the greatest teacher that ever existed, the one inside of you. As the Buddha said, be a lamp unto yourself. Follow your breath. Inhale, press the hips up and back. Bend the knees as you exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Chest lifts out halfway, inhale. Fold, get empty of breath, exhale. Inhale, circle and rise to the sky. To the heart. Ooh. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, let everything empty. Inhale, fill your lungs. Exhale, plant your hands, either step to plank or float to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back to chaturanga, a little strength. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog as we just set up for one more round of these. And just check in with yourself. What is it like for you when we chant Om? What is it like for you to give voice to your heart and to your potential? Certain days it might feel easy and exciting and other days it might be scary and just to know that that is all part of this journey, it is all part of the healing and everything you're experiencing belongs. Last time, inhale, press back, bend the knees, exhale, step, float or fly, chest out, inhale, flap back, forward fold, get out of your head, inhale, circle and rise, here we go. To the heart, give it voice. Ooh. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, bow deep. Inhale, glance out halfway. Exhale, step back or float back, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, heart rising high. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows bend. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog as you let those go. And so you just have trust, even on those days when you do not want to step onto your mat. Those days when the emotional stress rises, those triggers that so often got us into our habit or our addiction in the first place. And you remember how you want to feel at the end of this program, at the end of this class, and at the end of this day. And so you show up, even on those days, you've got to move through the blocks, the limitations. Let's move on. Inhale, press back. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, heavy head. Bend the knees, sit back, inhale, chair pose. And we're gonna add a little bit of vigor today. So as you bend the knees and the weight comes to the heels, we're gonna pulse this with a little bit of Kapalabhati, focusing on the out breath. So if it's new for you, just focus on the out breath, snap the navel to the spine. We'll do 10 rounds. Take an inhale here, out the nose, exhale, pulse. Take an inhale and chair. Exhale, forward fold, dive deep. Inhale, glance out, feel the mind clear. Exhale, step or float back. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, press back. Inhale, float the right leg up with a square hip. And on the same breath, float to a three-legged plank. Pause there, shoulders above wrists, your right toes floating above the mat. Take one more inhale here. 
Exhale, knee to nose, thigh to chest. Back to three leg plank, inhale, toes float. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, take a twist. Inhale, back to three leg plank. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, tap and touch. Inhale, back to three leg plank. Exhale, step the right foot through. On your back toes, inhale and rise up to crescent pose. Right knee pointing forward. Maybe a little bend in your back left knee so you can lift the pelvis up. Over time, maybe you straighten the back left knee and you come up onto the back left toes just to the extent that's right for you today. Take an inhale here, reach up. As you exhale, pull the elbows to the ribs and at the same time, bend the back left knee and tap the mat. Back to crescent pose, inhale. Chest to thigh, one time as you exhale, sweep your arms back behind you. Inhale, back up to crescent pose. And as you exhale, step your left foot up to meet your right in chair and pull your fists to your hips. Inhale, back to crescent pose, left toes back, arms to the sky. Hands to the mat as you exhale, step back to plank and descend with strength. Inhale to your back bend, to your heart and your potential. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg floats up. And on that same in breath, float the shoulders above the wrist, three leg plank. As you exhale, knee to nose, thigh to chest, challenge yourself to have trust in this. Inhale, left toes back, heart forward. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, float to three leg plank. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, a little contraction in the left side waist. Inhale, three leg plank. Exhale, step the left foot through. On back toes, inhale, sweep and rise. Feet about the distance of the hips. So even though we're working with some balance today, you have a felt sense of stability. So you ground down into the feet. Remember, this is part of our journey through these 30 days, knowing how to somatically ground and resource ourselves. Take an inhale, lift up. Exhale, cactus the elbows. Right knee bends as you tap the mat with the back knee. Inhale, back up to crescent pose. Exhale, chest to thigh, arms by your sides flow. Inhale, reach up to crescent. Then exhale, right toes to meet the left. Pull the fists to the hips. Step back to crescent, inhale, deep lunge. Hands down as you exhale, upper push up plank. Lower as the elbows hug in. Inhale, cobra or up dog, you find your breath. Exhale, downward facing dog, and we just get ready to flow with this. Drive into the hands. Put some extra pressure into the tips of the fingers. From there, feel the forearms elevate away from the floor so you're never collapsing into the heels of the hands. The chest open, the upper back open, and your breath flowing through you, not just top to bottom, but a 360 degree breath. So you're full of life, you're full of prana, and ultimately you are full of potential. Here we go, we're gonna flow this. Inhale, press the heart back. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float. Inhale, glance out halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. We'll fire it up with breath. You pulse out the nose. Inhale, chair. Exhale, dive over straight legs. Inhale, pull the heart out. Hands down, exhale, step back lower, slow or float. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up as you float to plank. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right toes back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow twist. Inhale, right toes float behind. Exhale, right knee, right elbow connect. Inhale, reach the toes back. 
Exhale, right foot steps between hands. Crescent pose, inhale, rise. Elbows in, exhale as the left knee taps. Inhale, sweep back up. Exhale, chest down, arms back. Inhale, circle to the sky. Exhale, left toes meet right, fists to hips. Inhale, crescent pose, reach up. Exhale, hands down, step back and lower slow. Inhale to your back, bend you flow. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up as you float to plank. Need a nose on the out breath. Inhale, left toes behind. Exhale, twist it to the right. Inhale, toes back, heart forward. Exhale, left knee, left side. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, step the foot forward. Inhale on back toes, sweep to the sky. Exhale, elbows in, back knee taps the mat. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, chest down, reach the arms back. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, right toes to left, fists to hips. Inhale, right toes back, reach up. Hands down, exhale, lower slow as you step your way back. Inhale, cobra or upward dog, always your choice. Down dog, exhale, pause there, take a couple breaths. Pause and downward facing dog. Notice those moments when you dissociate. During our talks, we touch on this through these 30 days. A consequence of our behaviors, our negative habits, and our addictions is that they help us avoid feeling what we're feeling. Yoga brings you back into your body. So be here now. Feel your hands on your mat. Feel your feet on the floor, your breath in your body, and know that you can be with this in a safe way. Know that you can do this work. You're creating literally new neural pathways. Round two, inhale, press back. Exhale, bend the knees, step or fly. Inhale, gaze out ahead. Exhale, fold your way in. Chair pose, inhale, sit deep. Pulse on the out breath. <laughs> Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, dive and fold deep. Inhale, gaze out ahead. Hands down, exhale, step back, lower, slower, float. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, down dog, shift back. Inhale, right leg up as you float to plank. Exhale, knee to nose, you can do this. Inhale, right toes back. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift the heart forward, the toes back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, connect. Inhale, three leg plank. Exhale, right foot between hands. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, elbows in, back knee taps. Inhale to crescent, you rise. Exhale, chest down, arms behind. Inhale, circle it up. Exhale, left toes to right, fist to hips. Inhale, crescent pose, a goodbye breath. Exhale through the vinyasa, or you could skip it. You have options in your practice in your life. Down dog as you exhale if you took it. Inhale, left leg up and float to plank. Knee to nose, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, left toes back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, a little twist. Inhale, left leg behind. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left toes, reach back. Exhale, float them through light. Inhale, on back toes, rise. Exhale, elbows in, right knee bends. Inhale, circle to the sky. Exhale, reach your arms behind. Inhale, as you lift up high. Exhale, right toes to left, fist to hips. Inhale, crescent pose, sit it down deep. Exhale, plant the palms, step to plank, chaturanga on the same out breath. Inhale as your shoulders roll. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take a moment in down dog. Listen to the sound of your breath. It's moving through your nose and along the back of your throat if it's available today. The sound your breath makes is the same sound that you heard when you were in your mother's womb. It's primordial, it's soothing. There's a reason we breathe this way in yoga practice. And your breath is always happening right here in the present moment. It's always gonna bring you right back here into this body you're experiencing. And it's only in this moment where your potential lies. 
Take an inhale, press the hips up and back. Exhale, bend the knees last time, step or float high. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold and bow in. Chair pose, inhale, sit deep. Out the nose, we pulse last time. Inhale, pause there, hold the breath in. Exhale, dive and fold, feel the space you made. Chest out, inhale, hands down, exhale. Step back, lower, slow or float. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, press your way back. Inhale, right toes up, float to plank. Need a nose on your out breath. Inhale, right toes behind. Exhale, twist it to the left. Inhale, three leg plank. Exhale, right knee, right elbow connect. Inhale, right toes Toes extend back. Exhale, right foot steps ahead. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, elbows bend, knee taps. Inhale, reach above. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, circle to the sky. Exhale, left toes to right, fist to hips. Inhale, crescent pose. Hands down as you exhale. Step to plank and lower slow. Inhale, pull your heart through. Exhale, press back. Last time, inhale left leg up as you float to plank exhale thigh to chest inhale reach the toes back exhale twist it to the right inhale toes behind exhale tap it to the left inhale last time three leg plank exhale left foot through inhale crescent pose exhale elbows bend knee taps inhale circle above exhale chest down arms back Inhale, rise high. Exhale, toes tap, fist to hips. Inhale, last time, crescent pose. Through the vinyasa, you step back and you let it go. Inhale to your heart space. Exhale, downward facing. Be there and take several breaths. On an inhale, float forward, upper push-up plank, and don't panic. As you exhale, lower your right knee down onto the mat. Spin the sole of your left foot flat, setting up for a modified version of side plank pose. Circle your left arm to the sky. Stack your left shoulder above your right. Press down through the blade of your back left foot. Open the left side of the chest, take an inhale. Exhale the left arm up and over the crown of your head. And just notice what happened to your right shoulder. Did it sneak up to your ear? And can you draw the right shoulder down your back? So a little bit of space there. On an inhale, reach the left arm to the sky. And as you exhale, float your left leg parallel to the mat. So strong through that back left leg, drive the left heel back. Begin to bend the left knee, reach your left hand back, and today as you grab the top of the left foot, if that's available for you, hug the heel into the sitting bone. So rather than dipping the chest back and going into the back bend right now, focus on opening the top of the left thigh. As you hug the heel in, you can roll the shoulder back and still sense the chest spreading wide. Give it one last little hug there. Then on an inhale, reach the left leg straight back, reach the left arm to the sky, take a goodbye breath in. Then exhale and lower the left hand down under the left shoulder and turn your five left toes to the mat, legs still lifted in the air. Sweep the right arm forward and out, and notice that you haven't dropped the head. So gaze a little bit forward as you continue pressing out of now your fresh left hand. Start to reach your right arm all the way over to the right, hand in alignment with your shoulder. Then start to reach the left leg all the way over to the left, driving through your left heel. Keep the heart lifted. We're just here for a beat as you lift the navel from the mat. Reach the left leg straight behind you. Reach the right arm straight ahead. Take an inhale here. Then start to bend the left knee in as you exhale. Reach the right arm back behind you, and as you catch the top of the foot once again, pull the heel into the sitting bone as you continue to pull the heart forward through the gateway of the chest. So you still sense the tips of the shoulder blades dipping down, the collarbone spreading wide to lift your heart away from the mat. 
Give it one last little hug and squeeze there. Reach the left leg straight back, reach the right arm straight forward, and then lift the belly up again to counter your back bend. Inhale to lift it all up. Exhale, hand knee foot to the mat. Either slip the knees behind your hips for modified plank or step the feet back to upper push-up as we set up for three yogi style push-ups here. Take an inhale, chaturanga exhale. Inhale back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga hover with strength. Inhale, upper push-up. Exhale, elbows hug your waist. Inhale, plank pose through the vinyasa. Exhale, slow. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, press your heart back. Bend the knees as you exhale, step or hop, feet to meet your hands. Flat back, inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, fold and drop your way in. Circle to the sky on an inhale, ground yourself. Pull the hands to the heart on your out breath and connect back with the seed of potential. So often it's the thing above the mind that gets in the way of that potential of the heart. So as if we could just connect back into this central line right here, always leading, always guiding us. Let the foot ground into the mat, then lift the left knee up to the chest and bring the sole of the left foot into tree pose. Press the inner right thigh into the sole of the left foot. Circle the arms above. Catch and interlace everything except the first finger once again. As you hug the upper arms in, it's as if you're moving to your very center. Pause for a moment, take an inhale. And as you exhale, lean to the right. And taking your arms up and over, you take a little bit of a risk, and that's what's required for tapping into our hearts and tapping into our potential. On an inhale, come back up through the center. Keep your arms interlaced above, turn your left knee forward, and kick your left leg straight out ahead of you. Your leg doesn't need to be high. Finding a height that's appropriate for you in the structure of your body as you just breathe. One more inhale as you grow a little tall. Exhale, float back to warrior three. Hands still interlaced. Reach those interlaced fingers forward. Reach the left leg back. Take one more inhale here. Start to bend the right knee, float step the left toes back. Crescent pose on an in breath. Grow tall, lift high. Open up to warrior two as you exhale. Pivot the back foot flat. Turn your gaze forward over your right middle hand and set your attention on that vision that you've created for yourself. You know where you're headed. You know what the possibilities are and you're not gonna let anything get in the way. As often as you need to, you say to yourself, out of the head, back into the heart. Inhale here in warrior two. As you exhale, cartwheel your hands to the inside of your right foot and then crawl to your back left leg. Straighten your right knee, turn your left toes out and squat down into skandasana. Left hand inside of your left knee, reach your right arm up, flex your right toes towards your face and extend your right arm up and over your head as you awaken the inseam of the right leg and the entire right side body. Turn the heart to the sky. Maybe you gaze underneath the right arm. Give it one last little reach there, a goodbye breath. Exhale, right fingertips come down and back to warrior two on an inhale as your right knee bends and your arms spread. Take an inhale and second warrior, sit a little bit deep, feel the strength of your roots. Then exhale and straighten your right leg. Heel toe your back left foot in a couple of inches. Turn your palms to face behind you. Begin to bend the elbows. You can bring your fists together, or maybe you come into reverse prayer, what we call prastanjali, as the palms come together to touch behind the heart. We receive love at one part of the body and we give it at the other. And we wanna make sure that both the front and the back of the heart are open and receptive. Take an inhale here. With the hands behind the back as you exhale, lean out halfway. Triangle pose with the hands behind the back. 
navel hugs in so that your spine is supported, your back is safe. So you might not come as deep as you're used to in your traditional triangle pose. And can you be okay with that? Take an inhale with your hands behind your back and keeping that as you exhale, turn your gaze down towards your right big toe. Start to bend your right knee, start to shift your weight forward and float your left leg parallel to the mat. And so you find a version of half moon with your hands tied behind your back. You were doing it a moment ago with your knee on the earth, and so here you just tap into that same potential. You could stay here or start to bend your left knee once again. Maybe you reach your arms back behind you and you catch your left foot with both hands, once again pulling that heel in. Grounding through your right leg, stay with your breath. You never skip a breath in order to get somewhere. You want to be totally present to the entirety of your journey, even the moments when you fall down. Reach your left leg back if you have the foot. Right hand under right shoulder, left arm to the sky. A moment to pause in traditional half moon. Take one inhale there as you open wide in every direction. Then exhale, bend your right knee, float step back, and inhale to reverse your warrior. Right arm draws you all the way up and overhead. Cartwheel the hands down as you exhale. Spin to your back left toes, look forward, and step forward to the top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, lengthen out. Forward fold, exhale, empty out. Rise to the sky, inhale, sweep the arms above. Hands to the heart as you exhale. Shift the weight into the right foot once again and bring your right hand to your right hip this time. Lift your left heel up to your left sitting bone and drop your left hand behind. Catch the outside edge of your foot as you hug the heel in. Right arm lifts up toward the sky, grow tall, find yourself, find your breath. Inhale here, exhale, lean out halfway. Shiva Natta Rajasana and balancing poses like heart opening poses, they tap us into a little bit of fear but we have to go into that fear in order to find our potential. So you learn to dance with it. On an inhale, rise all the way back up. Let your left toes come to the ground. Let your left arm sweep up to meet your right and pop up onto all 10 of your toes. Take an inhale as your heels lift. Exhale, start to bend your knees deep. As you squat down onto your heels, open your knees out wide and plant your hands shoulder distance. Lift your hips up, look forward, plant your knees high above your elbows into your triceps. You could stay here. Maybe you shift forward today. Maybe your toes float up and off the mat and you find a little bit of crow pose, lifting from the navel, doming through the heart. Take an inhale here, then exhale, shoot the toes back to Chaturanga. On an inhale, straighten the arms to plank. Walk the feet together at the back of the mat, and as you exhale, float to the blade of the right foot. We did it with our knee down before. You could put your knee down again. Inhale your left arm to the sky. Then exhale, drop your left hand by your left side. Lift your left foot up. Bend your left knee in one final time. Reach your left hand behind. See if your foot is there to catch. Hug the heel in as you open the heart, you open the chest. Press out of your inner right hand. Give it one last little squeeze. Left foot floats back to meet the right. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, left hand to the mat. Take a goodbye inhale in plank. Chaturanga as you exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale, heart high. Down dog, exhale, press your way back. Pause and downward facing dog. Nod your head a little yes. Nod your head a little bit no. And then you step right back into this moment. You let go of whatever happened on the first side. Just like you let go of what happened yesterday. This is a new day. There's a new possibility. This is a new side. There's new potential for learning. 
Inhale, float forward, upper push-up plank position. Are you focused on your limitations or your possibilities? Drop your left knee to the mat. Spin the sole of your right foot flat. Inhale, reach your right arm up and you pause inside plank. You know, you're the only one that can keep yourself from getting ahead of yourself. This is the deep work of yoga that no teacher can do for you. It's happening on the inside beyond the plane of the body. Inhale, lift up high. Exhale, right arm up and overhead. For a moment, you find extension from right foot to right hand. On an inhale, right arm lifts up. As you exhale, shift your weight a little bit forward and float your right leg parallel to the mat. Remember, the stronger that leg is, the more we find balance within. Start to bend the right knee. Turn the right hand to face behind. See if that foot might be there to catch. Hug the heel in. Awaken the right quadricep. This is a muscle group we so infrequently touch in power yoga. So today we're enlivening this front side of the body, this soft tissue side of the body. Give it one last little squeeze if you have it. Reach the right leg back, reach the right arm up, take an in-breath. Exhale, right hand under right shoulder, square off the hips. Right leg still lifted, sweep the left arm forward. You have to believe in yourself. We believe in you, but you have to believe in your body's potential and your heart's potential for healing. Here we go, left arm all the way out to the left side right leg all the way out to the right side and if you feel it in your hip then you know that you're doing it right lift the heart up reach the heart ahead give it one last little moment there right leg straight behind left arm straight forward take an inhale bend the right knee reach back with the left hand and once again see if you can hug that heel in we use the right and the left sides of the body differently one side is a little bit more dominant, so this side is inevitably going to be different. Let that bring you into the present. Right leg straight back, left arm straight forward. Take a goodbye breath in. Tabletop pose as you exhale. Be honest with yourself. What do you need? Maybe you bring your knees behind your hips. Maybe you modify and you don't judge it as a weakness. You judge it as truth and honesty, as integrity. Maybe you step the feet back to plank. We got three yogi style push-ups. Inhale here. Chaturanga exhale. Inhale back to plank. Chaturanga on the out breath. Inhale, press the floor away. Last time, exhale, hover. Inhale, plank pose. All the way through the vinyasa, exhale. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Down dog, exhale, press back. Inhale, lift the sitting bones up and back. Gaze forward, exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Chest out, inhale, take the rounding out. Exhale, fold and bow in deep. Inhale, circle to the sky. Exhale, pull the hands to the heart, check in with yourself. Where are you? Feel the hands together. That little space between the palms of your hands, it's the seed of possibility. Feel the weight grounding into the sole of the left foot. Tree pose. Right foot comes up to the inner left thigh. Toes could stay on the earth. Foot could come to the calf. Gosh, you could even go to a wall. Inhale, reach your arms up. Catch and interlace everything but the first finger. Find one place for the eyes. Then exhale, lean up and over to the left. A little bit is enough. Pause and notice. Balance is in a place we arrive. We're always in relationship to it. On an inhale, come back to center. Turn the right knee forward. Kick the right leg ahead. We all have different shaped hip sockets. So some of us can only lift our leg an inch off the floor. It's high enough. Be there, beyond the mind of comparison, beyond the mind of limitations, take a breath. Float back to warrior three as you exhale. Right leg behind, chest parallel to the earth, arms extending ahead, take a breath. Bend the left knee, drop step the right toes back. Inhale as you lift the chest, the arms above. 
Open up warrior two as you exhale and spread. Palms face the earth. You stand strong into everything you're experiencing. During these 30 days, we're gonna talk about titrating. It means sometimes we go to the place inside of our bodies, inside of our hearts and our minds that's intense. But then we pull back and we go to a place that's easy to be with, safe to be with. So when intensity arises, where's a safe place for you? Maybe it's the felt sense of your breath in your body. Maybe it's imagining yourself practicing with a dear friend. Then go back to that place of intensity and know that you can be with it. Take a breath. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the inside of the left foot and crawl to skandasana to your back right leg. Bend your right knee, place your right hand inside of your right foot. Circle your left arm to the sky. Reach your left arm up and over your head and imagine you could drag your left heel back towards you inseam of the entire body awakening and alive. Pause here, take one more deep breath in. Exhale, left hand comes down, then walk back to a bent left knee and cartwheel back open to warrior two. On an inhale, straighten your left leg. Heel toe your back right foot in further than you think you need to. Turn your palms to face behind. Bend your elbows, either fists together or palms together in reverse prayer. Wrap your right waist back, your left waist forward. Take a breath. Lean out halfway as you exhale or less. One long line of energy from tail to crown of head. As if the heart could lead the way, can you imagine finding a little bit of cobra in the space of the upper back? Keep the chest that open, then turn the gaze down toward the floor. Go slow. Start to bend the left knee as the weight shifts forward. Drag the right foot in, and then float the right leg up parallel to the mat. Half moon with your hands behind your back. Again, the stronger that back right leg is, the more inner equanimity we find. You could stay here, or maybe start to bend the right knee. You could stay here or maybe reach the hands back and see if the foot might be there to connect with. If this is your more dominant leg, this quadricep might be tighter, so you might have to work it a little bit. Hug that heel in, give it one last little squeeze. Then reach the right leg straight back, half moon, left hand under left shoulder, right arm to the sky. Take one inhale as you spread it all wide. Bend the left knee as you exhale, float step back, reverse your warrior on and in breath. Left arm pulls you all the way up and back. Cartwheel the hands down as you exhale, pivot to your back right toes, look forward, step forward, fold in half. Flap back, deep breath in. Forward fold, empty out. Circle and rise to the sky, inhale, you grow to stand right back to your heart where it matters most, the gesture of Anjali as you pause once again. Shift the weight into the left foot. Bring the left hand to the left hip. Float your right heel to your right sitting bone and drop the hand behind you as you catch the outside of the right foot. Inhale your left arm to the sky. Lean out halfway and dance with possibility. Dance with the possibility even of failing. Can we fail forward? That it's not a failure if we learn from it. And it's especially not a failure if we learn to have self-compassion inside of the journey and we celebrate our mistake, taking joyful, radical responsibility. On an inhale, rise all the way up. Right toes meet the left, both arms to the sky. Inhale here. Pop up onto your toes, lift the heels high. As you exhale, start to bend the knees and squat the sitting bones down toward the heels. Spread the knees out wide. Plant the hands down shoulder distance. Lift the hips up, plug the knees high up into those triceps. Shift the weight forward. Maybe the heels lift, maybe the toes lift. Take an inhale, Bakasana Crow Pose. Exhale, jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, straighten the arms to plank. 
Walk the feet together at the back of the mat and spin to the blade of the left foot. Inhale, right arm to the sky. You could always put the left knee or even the left elbow down. Bring the right arm down by the right side. Float the right leg up. Bend the right knee, reach the right hand back, and see if that right heel is there for you to catch. Hug the heel in. Open the heart, open the chest. Give it one last squeeze. Right foot goes back to meet the left. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Last time in plank, take an inhale, upper push up. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Press your way back. Whew. You must do the things you think you cannot do. And every time we do, every time we challenge ourselves, every time we go into the unknown, we grow and we expand, and we're always so glad we did so. Take one last inhale in down dog. Drop the knees to the mat as you exhale. Crawl your knees forward, bring your knees together and open your heels wide. Move the flesh of your calves back. Sit your sitting bones down between your heels. You can always use a block for support if that's best. You can stay upright or slowly walk the elbows back. You can stay here supported on the elbows or you can recline all the way into Supta Virasana on the back. You might catch opposite elbows overhead. The whole front body expansive and open. Supta Virasana, also a back bend. So taking just a moment here to close the eyes and slow the breath, reaping all of the beautiful benefits of your practice. Take one last inhale here. If you're on your back, release your hands, press down into your elbows, rise all the way back up, walk the hands in. Rise to standing on the knees. Bringing the knees in, sitting bone distance, you can tuck the toes behind you or not. As you exhale, bring your hands to your heart. You can start with your hands at your heart or bring your hands to your low back. Fingertips can point up or down. It's really personal. Sitting bones down, heart high. We'll find Ustrasana camel pose. Start to roll the shoulders back. So the strength of the thighs are pressing forward. We need to have strong legs, a strong foundation to open the heart. You might stay here or maybe you drop the hands back to the heels. Again, keep pressing the thighs forward. So like you found in tree pose, you anchor those roots. So from that, that strong foundation, from your support system, you're able to enter into the potential of your heart. Keep the legs strong, shift the weight forward, rise all the way back up. Exhale, sit back onto your heels, hands to thighs. We're just here for a moment. We're gonna do it one more time. Inhale, rise up onto your knees. This time, maybe you start with the hands at the heart. Sitting bones down, lift the navel to the face. Take an inhale, lift your heart. Start to roll the shoulders back. And then when you find your stopping place, release your hands to your feet. Gazing up toward the ceiling so that you could express from your heart through your throat Give voice to what's inside of you. We're never crunching the neck. One last little moment there, and then shift the weight forward. The arms hang so both shoulders rise at the same time. Sit back onto the heels and pause. We're gonna be here for a little while, so if you wanna separate the heels and sit on a block, you can. Settle in. Turn your palms up to the sky on your thighs. Bring your thumb to touch your ring finger and your pinky finger. Reach your peace fingers together straight ahead. This is the gesture of life. And it's a gesture that encourages us to start something new and to see something through. 
With this gesture, we're gonna move through a few rounds of breath of fire. Take an inhale, lift the arms up, and out the nose, pump the navel to the spine. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take an inhale, arms still up. Out the mouth, exhale. Backs of the hands to the thighs. Still holding the thumb to touch the ring finger and the pinky finger. We have two more rounds. Take an easy breath in and an easy breath out. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Out the nose, round two, I'll count. Last five, four, three, two. Take a deep inhale, reach up. Open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Backs of the hands to the tops of the knees. Pause for a moment. Take an easy breath in. An easy breath out. Last round here. Inhale, both arms up. Out the nose, fire it up. Take a deep inhale, hold it in at the top. Open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Let the arms drop, turn the palms down, release the gesture with the hands. Take a moment here, take a breath. Bring the first two fingers of your right hand right between your eyebrows. Bring your thumb to the right side of your nose. Take an inhale through both sides of the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Close the right nostril with the right thumb. Inhale through the left for one, two, three, four. Close the left nostril with the right ring finger. Open the right, exhale right for four, three, two, one. Inhale right, one, two, three, four. Close right, exhale left for four, three, two, one. Left inhale, one, two, three, four. Close right, exhale left for four, three, two, one. Right inhale, one, two, three, four. Close right, exhale left for four, three, two, one. Inhale left, one, two, three, four. Close left, exhale right for four, three, two, one. Inhale right for one, two, three, four. Release your hand and exhale out both. Inhale through both. And take a moment just to sit in all of the potential that you've created. Just by showing up on your mat today. Just by being willing to do the work that no one else can do for you. Keeping the eyes closed, rock forward, cross the ankles behind you, roll to the sitting bones, and roll all the way onto the back. Hug the knees in, give the knees a squeeze. Cactus the elbows, drop both knees to the right, take an easy twist so we just come full circle today, leaving no part of the body untouched. Inhale the knees back to center. Exhale the knees up and over to the left. Easy twist. 
eyes closed, surrendering into a natural, steady breath. Draw the knees back up into the center. Give the knees a final squeeze. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release the legs out. Shavasana, spread the feet. Drop the arms down by the sides. Turn the palms to the sky. We'll take one final breath together. A deep inhale through the nose. And open the mouth, let it go. Shavasana is an open-hearted practice. It means corpse pose and we're dying away from the future. We're dying away from the past. And we're surrendering fully into the present. And so here you land and rest. have more time to stay and take a longer rest, please do. Otherwise, float one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly, hands on the body as you take a breath. Eyes still closed, re-bend the knees, curl onto your side, cradle your head. Pressing down into your hands, rise all the way up to a final cross-legged seat. Eyes still closed, draw the hands together at the heart, the gesture of prayer. Bow the chin as if to gaze back down into your own heart here. Always remembering that where you are is not who you are. You are on a continuous journey. Every chapter of life is a profound transition. You did the work. You got onto your mat. You tapped into your heart. Now take the practice with you off the mat and into your day. Inhale your thumbs to your forehead for clarity of thought. Your fingertips to your lips for thoughtfulness of speech. And your hands to your heart for consistency of action, allowing your practice to guide you through everything you're thinking, saying, and doing. Take a final deep breath in. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Blink the eyes open. Namaste. Thank you for your practice. Now go do the work. Listen to the next talk in the program. Turn to your workbook. This is key to lasting and sustained change. We'll see you in tomorrow's practice. I hope you enjoyed your practice and that you are feeling alive in your potential to make the changes that will uplift your highest possibility in this life. Be sure to click subscribe below and to experience the entire Yoga Detox 30 program, join us over at innerdimensiontv.com. When you become a member, your first 10 days are free. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time.